Canada really wanted to demonstrate its commitment to disability rights and disability issues internationally. We wanted to be seen, and I think we are, a leader on the international scene on this issue. It was important for us to join because we need 20 countries, of course, to even for this treaty to go into effect. And we wanted to be in the top 20. We wanted to demonstrate that leadership by getting in at the ground level, by really showing our excitement about sharing our material with the world and giving Canadians access to more material as quickly as possible. As someone with a visual impairment, I know how limiting it is not to be able to access all information whenever you want to access it. What I read is directly driven by the size of the font of any given book. So I walk into a library or a bookstore and I don't think, gee, I'd like to read something. I think, what can I read? And I know that everybody that has the same level of vision as me feels the same way and it's frustrating and it's limiting. So the idea that I will have access to and others will have access to a broader range of material in accessible format is very, very touching and it's exciting because if you think of people who want to get into the workforce, people who are students, we know that 33% of Canadians who are visually impaired don't have jobs. We know that many students with visual impairments drop out of university because they just can't get the material they need in order to, su to succeed and it's super frustrating for them. So I'm very excited on a personal level and I'm very excited for all Canadians that we were able to do this for them.